On Thursday, a Yemeni military commander who had been in the forefront of the war against terror organizations in Yemen for over a decade was murdered in an explosion from an explosive device planted by al-Qaeda in southern Yemen. This report has more details. On Thursday, an explosive device planted by al-Qaeda in southern Yemen went off, killing a Yemeni military commander who had been spearheading the war against terrorist organizations in Yemen for more than 10 years. Brigadier Abdul Latif al-Sayed, head of the security belt troops in the province of Abiyan, was the highest-ranking officer to die in the fight against al-Qaeda in more than a year. In the Omran Valley, an IED placed by al-Qaeda destroyed al-Sayed's vehicle, killing him along with three of his soldiers. The Yemeni commander was evaluating soldiers dispatched into the hilly terrain of Abiyan to drive al-Qaeda extremists out of their strongholds. An offensive against al-Qaeda militants using the southern provinces of Abiyan and Chabwa as havens was launched by the pro-independent security belt a year ago, supported by a number of military and security units loyal to the Southern Transitional Council. As the forces advanced, al-Qaeda used deadly guerrilla tactics, including hit-and-run attacks, the laying of roadside explosives, and landmines. The attacks have claimed the lives of more than 100 soldiers, some of whom were field commanders. A spokesman for pro-independent southern forces stated that al-Sayed's death will not deter troops from their operations against al-Qaeda. Al-Sayed was an al-Qaeda member until he defected in 2012. Using his knowledge of the terrorist organization, he established armed units in Abiyan to assist the army in its war. When the Houthis marched into the southern region in early 2015, Al-Sayed shifted his forces from Abiyan to Aden to oppose the insurgents. Al-Qaeda attempted to kill Al-Sayed more than 10 times and targeted several of his family members to compel him to surrender. Despite promises from security and military authorities that the fight against terror will continue, local and international terrorism experts think Al-Sayed's assassination will have a significant impact on military operations against Al-Qaeda.